The UN is now investigating after two deadly airstrikes hit northeastern Ukraine with children among the victims. The race for U.S. Speaker of the House heats up. We'll ask lawmakers from both sides of the aisle about the top contenders. The former chief executive of the global fashion brand Abercrombie & Fitch and his British partner are facing allegations of exploitation from men. Floods, droughts and wildfires. A UNICEF report says extreme weather caused the displacement of more than 43 million children between 2016 and 2021. That's an average of about 20,000 children displaced every day. The report found that children living in the Horn of Africa or on small island nations are most vulnerable. The U.S. Labor Department released the latest jobs report on Friday showing employers added 336,000 jobs in September. That is double economist forecasts. The unemployment rate remained unchanged at 3.8 percent. Some of the boost is seasonal, like the start of the school year, but U.S. companies are also showing resilience in the face of higher interest rates. And funerals took place in the Syrian town of Homs following an unprecedented multiple drone attack on a military graduation on Thursday. The Syrian government says 89 people were killed, but a human rights group put the, de the death toll far higher. It was one of the bloodiest strikes against the Syrian military in more than 12 years of civil war.